Tonight, parts of the South are shaken from devastating tornadoes, leaving at least nine people dead and dozens others injured. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the latest. Look at this security video in LaGrange, Georgia, showing the dramatic moment an EF2 tornado knocks down power lines, creating a light show, then flipping over this huge container. This video in Griffin, Georgia, shows the chaos after a confirmed tornado near Walmart. Shoppers capturing a parking lot full of wrecked, mangled cars. Look at this aerial view showing homes without their roofs. Neighbors are in disbelief. But this is the first time tornado actually just touched or just passed over and did this kind of damage here. At least nine people died in the storm, including five-year-old Egan Jeffcoat, smiling here with his grandmother, who was killed when his family's car was hit by a falling tree. More than 40 tornadoes were reported across seven states. In Alabama, families like Felicia Hills starting to put their lives back together after these deadly tornadoes. It's what they say sounds like a train. It does sound like a train, but then it's also ominous. So much damage. This will be our weekend for sure. Probably part of next week also. Yeah. It's going to take a while to get all of this taken care of. Just as the South begins to clean up and recover, so is the West Coast after getting drenched this week. Trash bins outside this community center in Planada, California, quickly filling up with debris and people's water damaged items. Some areas gearing up for another round of extreme weather over the next few days. The storm that brought these deadly tornadoes to Alabama and Georgia was bringing mudslides to California earlier in the week, <clears throat> and this next storm coming in will also go coast to coast. Heavy rain, wind and snow could cause more damage and flooding. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.